Okay, I'm doing a video on a DIY on how to build your own water system. Uh, I'm not a plumber or nothing. I am an electrician, but I built my last system and I have a video of that, but now I'm building another system because that system didn't work exactly like I wanted it to because I should have used some type of uh, backwash media to wash my media. I'm using a Catalox light because I have high sulfur and iron in my water. And this system that I bought from Aqua Pure Water Systems, I have a air injection system. So I bought the tank down the road, a plumber got it for me. So the first thing you need to do is, your system will come with this distributor back to get, come with this, which is a uh, Fleck 2510 SXT air injection head. You also get your instructions with it. But you also get this distributor tube. It's actually a distributor uh, skirt. And then you'll also get the backwash valve and an O-ring. And that O-ring determines the size of your backwash. On this system, they recommended, I think it's a four, four something. I don't know, I have to look into that and get back. Put that in a different video and update that. It's been a while. So, what I got here is you, first of all, you gotta get a piece of PVC, three quarter inch PVC from any hardware store. This is SDR 21, this is not Schedule 40. This is actually a thinner material. And then the first thing you do is you wanna cut the pipe longer than the tank. Snap on your distributor cap, and then you slide the pipe down in there. And you can use a flashlight, make sure that you're in there, but there's a cone on the bottom of that distributor head and it fits right into the center of the tank. There's a little spot right where the tit sits. And then your pipe will be sticking out and then you just take a straight edge, lay it across there like I did and I marked the top of my pipe flush with the top of your tank. So I did that, I took it out and I cut it. And then once I cut it, I rechecked it. Once I made sure everything was good and then I went ahead and glued the distributor cap on. Glue this on with PVC glue, and then you also want to bevel this edge with some sandpaper. I just took a file and beveled the edge because there's actually an O-ring in here that you don't want to destroy that's inside this head here as an O-ring. So you also need a funnel. I think you can order my line for 10 bucks which I don't have one. So, I actually found this is off of a sauce making thing my dad had in my building, so I'll just make this work in your funnel. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get your pipe in there and then you wanna put tape on top of your pipe because you don't wanna get anything inside that pipe. And then you wanna put your funnel on. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some tape, tape this pipe up. I got my pipe all taped. I also got a mask because you don't want to breathe this media when you put it in. Who knows what's in it. Get my funnel on. You also pick up a bag of pea gravel at the hardware store too. What we want to do is we just want to fill this up and you want to make sure you don't lift that riser tube up because you need it to be seated. So we're gonna fill it with pea gravel, just so it's above the distributor basket, so you need a flashlight to look down in there.
Okay, so I found my flashlight. But my kids had it. You want to just make sure that you're just over top of that distributor basket. I'm right level with it, so I need to add just a little bit more. Okay, it appears to be good. Next, if I didn't say this is a one and a half cubic foot tank, this is the 10 by 54. So, this is the Kedalox light. This will be the media that I'm adding. Make sure you wear a mask, face, shield, something, eye cover, just so that it don't get in you. So I just, go ahead and pause it so you don't have to watch me. media in. Not as dusty as it was last time I did it, but still don't want to breathe this stuff. I'm going to make sure that your tube stays centered. So my tube is centered. Everything appears to be good. Oh, it looks great. So I'm probably up to about here, so we have room for our water. So next, we're going to put the head on. So we're going to take the tape off without lifting up on it. If I use this painter's tape, it's a lot easier to do that. Then we got this head. It's going to be a little tricky with this cord. spray so that does the oxidation it's oxygen in the water and that's going to go in with the cone down because it sits right in the bottom of this head so I just got it pushed down about a half inch this head should push it down the rest of the way. So once you get it started, you want to go ahead and screw that on.
Then there's an O-ring that's going to seat in there. So you just want to snug it up so it don't leak. Good. I don't want to over tighten it. And that's about it. And then you should have directions on how to backwash it. I'm going to have to go ahead and hook up my fittings. Here I got to glue this all in. And then I'll have a backwash cycle, which I'll cover that probably in another video. Um, my backwash for the Kalox light is a 10 minute backwash, 40 minute uh, BD or the uh, recharge, which is the oxidation cycle. Rapid rinse is one to three minutes. And then you'll go to the next button to go to service. And I'm gonna try and start mine at every two days. Cause I have a lot of people live in my house right now. May have to switch to one day. And the guy was telling me, I'm not familiar with this head, I have an old Plex 2510 mechanical head, but at this button here, hold down for seven seconds. That'll take you into the menu and I set everything up. So once I get it all hooked up, the first thing I'm gonna do is wanna do a backwash cycle. And he said to backwash it until my backwash looks like it's pretty clear. And as you've seen that pea gravel is pretty muddy. Plus the media needs to rinse out so that's all it is very very simple process and they usually charge a fortune to come to your house and do this stuff so like I said the first tank they recommended that I use a backwash of chlorine so I was just trying to water and that system didn't work as well I only had a one cubic tank so I'm gonna pull that system out and either sell it or I can build something else out of it and this time I'm using air injection as my oxidation. I wanted to use chlorine, but I don't like using chlorine. And then I found out that the Kalox light, they're having issues with using chlorine. The one guy was telling me that chlorine is great for it, but apparently it's breaking down the media. And then you also don't want to get chlorine in if you've got a softener into your softener resin because they'll destroy it. I think that's what happened too with mine because I was backwashing a filter with chlorine to try to rinse the system. That's about it. Hope you like it.